Hey there guys, what's up? Ragtor here, welcoming you back to Pokemon Legends of the Arena. Now last time we were tasked with going into this cave to find a lost employee, and we are going to do as such. Also last time I made a promise that I was going to have a Magnemite. Well, I broke that promise because I've got a Magneton. Haha! <laughs> Behold, Tesla the Magneton. Timid, with sturdy, and discharge, flash cannon, spark, and magnet bomb. Now you might be wondering, why is Tesla so much of a higher level than the other Mons? And that's because to get a good special electric move, I had to get it to level 51. It doesn't learn Discharge until that late in the game. It's pretty insane. But you'll also notice that it is one of the more defensive Mons we have. It's not quite as uh, defensive as old Porygon 2 with its Eevee Light, but it gets the job done, and this one can evolve just a little bit more. It's actually pretty decently fast, too, because of that timid nature. So, hey, not bad, Tesla. I'm very happy to have you on the team. So, even though I am ecstatic to have this Magneton, it is going to be benched for a little bit, just in favor of getting the other Pokemon caught up in terms of levels. And by the way, leveling this Magneton on a route... 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 that contained almost exclusively electric types was a nightmare. <laughs> I had to really do some root hopping to find a good place for it. But hey, that's in the past now. Several hours of my life down the tube, but we got a Magneton out of it, and in my opinion, that makes the entire experience worth it. Whoa, okay. Wasn't expecting to see you here, Mr. Carnivine. Carnivine is like... I don't know. It's such a weird Pokemon, like, a genuinely weird Pokemon, and you never see this thing used. No one, like, whose favorite Pokemon is Carnivine? <laughs> when does, Megahorn, yes! When does Carnivine ever come up in conversation? When is it, like, ever a big deal at all? <laughs> what is Carnivine? The answer is not very important, uh, let's see. I'm gonna forget Night Slash. I can always go back and get that relearned, but Megahorn, I think, just for the- ooh, that's an item that I want, but how do I get to it? I'm going to have to go around some long, finangled way, aren't I? Well, let's give that old Megahorn a try now, shall we? <laughs> that low-res little horn, I love it. Oh, it was enough to pick up the one-hit KO. That's very unfortunate. Take this brick break instead. Just getting a little XP where I can here. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll find a way to that item. It's no big deal. I'm only kind of twitching inside that I... Oh, I think this is the way, actually. <laughs> oh! It's... It's Koopa! No, sorry, Goomba. Goomba, Goomba, Goomba. See, it's like a if it's like a Goomba and a Koopa had a baby. That's pretty cool, actually. Big old Goombas up in here. Honestly, I'm kind of half tempted. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The team we have is probably the team we'll stick with until the very end, because I've spent a long time catching these guys up on levels. I'm very satisfied with all of these Pokemon. I love them, love them, love them. Parasect! But, I mean, guys, what if we used a Parasect? I mean, be straight with me, what if we used a Parasect? How amazing would that be? And there's Ariados in here? This cave's awesome! I made a, a very deliberate point not to come in here and explore, because I wanted my reactions and my general experience to be first time. Like, I didn't want to come in here and immediately know all the layout for the cave, because that would be boring. I want to get lost a little bit, you know, look for items and encounter some Pokemon I haven't seen yet. Like Ariados and Carnivine. But yeah, Car Carnivine's just so weird. It's like... Nobody likes it. Nobody really cares about it. It's just kind of a nothing Pokemon, I think. Oh. Oh, jeez. Listen, sorry, I wasn't saying that about you. I was saying that about the other Carnivines. Y you weren't supposed... Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny timing, though. You can't lie. Alright, do you battle? Hey, what do you want? I'm trying to slack off here. Are you Tom? Maybe. Who's asking? 
Some guy from the bike shop sent me to come get you. Wait, what? Gosh darn it! I was avoiding that hard ass by hiding back. I like how he says gosh darn it, but then he calls his boss a hard ass. By hiding back here, but I guess I'd better head back. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. You're welcome, jerk. You've been gone for two days. You little punk. You don't get to talk sass to me after you've gone missing for two days. I'm gonna explore the rest of this cave real quick. I wanna find more items. Get out of here, Ariados. Go away. So it would honestly be a great cave to train Ego in, though. I think everything I've run into f so far, bar Quagsire, takes super effective damage from flying type moves. But then again, what well, doesn't take super effective damage from flying type moves these days? You got Talonflame running all over the place, Brave Bird and everything. <laughs> it's just a non-stop Brave Bird massacre. Let's giggity get on up out of here. Wait, wait. There we go. I knew it would be worth it. An absorb bulb. What is that? It's like a big root? Absorb bulb. A consumable bulb. If the user, if the holder is hit by a water type move, its special attack will rise. Well, now that's pretty cool. That is pretty gosh darn cool. I could put that on Vesuvius and then Wreck House. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, Vesuvius Rex House as it is, but if it's getting hit by a water type move, it's probably not having a good time right now. Are we almost out of the cave? I'm, I'm kind of regretting not taking the shortcut now. <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're six minutes in and we've rescued the little boy. Are we done yet? Can I go home yet? Okay, awesome. Finally out of the cave. Jeez. If that were a real cave, I would honestly have such severe claustrophobia right now. <laughs> Can't stand it. Don't like caves. Don't like tight spaces. Don't like caves. I don't mind hugs, though. Thank you for finding Tom. Here's that bike I promised. We got a bicycle. Hey, so sorry about that, kid. Having a job is boring. This sucks. I hate everyone. Oh, to be a teenager again. To know what that feels like. <laughs> Listen, if you're a teenager out there and you're in that I hate everyone phase, trust me, you get over it. You really, really do. And you're gonna feel great once you do. Bike powers, act! This is the slowest bike I've ever seen. Bike powers, activate! Alright, so are these all trainers? Can I battle you people? Hey scrub, is this your first time on a bike? Are you, like, dissing me for not being an avid bike rider? Are you kidding me? Right, well, just because of that, I'm gonna bust out Tesla. Just to go extra destruction on yo booty. Are you ready to get wreck it, Ralph Wingle? Check this out. Destruction. I annihilated this Wingle so bad it's not even... It's descendants just got annihilated. It's descendants that don't even exist yet. Alright, that's enough, Tesla. You've made your obligatory appearance, <laughs> but you're much too high level now. Mr. Twister, eh? Take this discharge. Seedra is awesome, but it's such a weird Pokemon. Like, if you ever looked at its Pokedex entries, it's like... One of the only Pokemon to confirm, like, real-life evolution, and I think that's awesome. Because... What was it? I think... The entry goes, like, while studying Horsey, they noticed that there was a, a, a small change in its DNA. You schooled me! I sure did. I sure did, what you gonna do about it? I always thought that was really fascinating. My Pokemon love riding in my basket! Wow, she's got, like, an Onyx. An Onyx is not gonna fit in your basket. It's got four Pokemon though. Oh, I guess that could fit in a basket. Take this brick brick though. You stupid Pikachu knockoff. Oh, it lived! It lived! Get out of here. I don't like Pachirisu. Like, if it evolved into something, it would be less disgraceful. But it just stays a Pachirisu forever, so it's like, this is what you get. 
what you see, it's uh, what you get. <laughs> it's really not going to go up or down from here. I mean, that's the thing I like about evolution. Sorry, Heracross, I know you don't evolve, but you make it evolve. Is that, like, you start out weak, and then you get strong. Fluffy! Like, you, you start out with, with a Mareep, for instance, and it's, it's pathetic, right? It's got Thundershock as its only good move, and it doesn't really hit that hard yet, and it doesn't take hits all that well. But then you raise it, and you love it, and you care for it, and I just got Perseus knocked out. <laughs> Oops, wasn't paying attention because I was talking about evolution. But you go through this kind of journey with these Pokemon, and then they evolve, and it's like, wow, I loved you before, and now I want to use you even more. It's incredible. Level 47. Oh no! Hey, that that's enough to pay for one of my Pokemon's medical bills. Let's go do that. Go get our revives on. I swear, this thing's the biggest freaking Monopoly. No! In all of Pokemon. Okay, so let's, uh... Put Ego up in the front, give Ego a little love. Hopefully there's not too many electric types. Alright, let's party on Wayne, and also Garth. Missed- oh. Is this the end? Hey! I didn't know that item was there! How do I get that? Oh, that's gonna bother me now. Whoa there, pal! You're in my way here! Maybe you're the one who is in my way, friend. Cyclist Graham. <laughs> Every time Staraptor comes out, it's like, <gasps> it's ready to mess bitches up. Oh my goodness, that did not do the amount that I wanted it to. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that Aerial Ace only has 60 base power, and that I do not have the access to the incredible Brave Bird just yet. Actually, does Staraptor get Brave Bird by leveling up, or do you have to breed it? And if it does get it by leveling up... At what level am I gonna get it? Uh, let's go into Norton for a main nectric. Main nectric. Yeah, that's it. Take my try attack, son. Main nectric... Man, what a weird name. Oh, I get the freeze. I was like, what item does it have? It's just it frozen like a bitch. Actually... It'd be a female dog, because it's a male. Actually, male dog, male dog. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm getting a little sick, and I think it's impacting me. I think it really is. No, disruption! Ugh. My commentary. It's losing all of its luster. Do you know what time it is? It's battle o'clock. Man, buddy, you need some help. You need, like, a friend or something. Uh, do you want to be friends, buddy? <gasps> He's got a star you. You've got a star you. You've got a baby garnet. I'm sorry. Why do you have to make me fight a star you? The Seedra, I don't mind. But yeah, Seedra's super cool. I like. I like that whole line. But the one thing that always bothered me is like. Like, do they fly? <laughs> Can they exist out of water? Or is that just, like, not a good thing to do to your, your horsey and your, your Seedra and your Kingdra? I mean, Seedra at least has, like, the two flappy wings so that it looks like it can fly. But it loses that when it evolves into Kingdra. It's only got the, the one back flappy wing thing. So, does Kingdra just, like, levitate because it's a dragon? I'm thinking far too much into this. But I want to know. I want to know for when I get a real Kingdra. <laughs> Guys... Tell me in the comments if you were one of those kids who would use your birthday wishes on, a uh, on wishing Pokemon was real. I can't be the only one. I refuse. It's gotta star me, too. My man. You understand me. I cannot be the only one that spent, like, every birthday wish. Like, at first it was like, I wish all Pokemon were real. And then I thought, like, the birthday wish was just, it couldn't handle it. So I would change up the wish, and I'd be like, I wish uh, Poliwag and Bulbasaur and Staryu and Cyndaquil were real. Okay, I wish P 
Kiji was real, and Gyarados, and also Geodude. And it was just... Just trying different things to negotiate with the birthday gods to, to make Pokemon a reality. Whoa, okay, that's kind of cool. Yo, what's going on? Might as well give it up on getting past. These guys look dangerous. These lousy bikers need to shift their gears fast. Oh man, bike puns. Bike puns. Oh, look at these poison types. Oh, look at how cool everybody is. Actually, I really like these. That coughing sprite looks awesome. That wheezing sprite looks awesome. That's a good looking gold bat. Probably taken out of Heart Gold Soul Silver. Right. Well, I think this is the perfect time to show off how amazing Tesla is. So, excuse me, buddy. Hey, what the hell do you want? Uh, can I come through? Come through? Ha! No way. We've got the road on lockdown, pal. So just turn your little bike around and cycle on home to mommy. How will you respond? Quit being a jackass. Sorry, I'll just leave. Let me pass. Let me pass. You have no quarrel with me. Let me pass. These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> I love my character. Huh? Okay, when you put it like that. I'll just... Wait a second. What the hell was that? I'm confused. Should we battle now? I think so, yes. <laughs> His bike's a Heracross. Oh my goodness. I'm having way too much fun right now. Uh, Tesla, go for a flash cannon and teach the Zangus what it means to be a real Pokemon. Ooh, false swipe. So scary. I'm so scared of your Zangus, buddy. Your Zangus that uses false swipe on a Magneton. <laughs> Get out of here. What else you got for me, pal? What else you got? A Perugly? These are not the Pokemon he's got out in the Pokeballs. I would be using Heracross right now if I knew he was just gonna bust out normal types on me. Oh, oh, critical hit. I was about to say, like, this is Tesla bringing the finest of work. Oh, I felt the pain. Oh man, Homer won't be happy about this. Do. <laughs> all right. Wow. Do I have to battle all of these punks? Ugh. I'm feeling sick from going around in circles. I'll fight you instead. Good plan, buddy. Good plan. This can't go wrong at all. Do you all biker pickles? I'm just writing down the, the name of this episode. Biker Pickles. <laughs> Biker Pickles. Oh my god. I don't know why that tickled me so pink. But I adore that his name is Pickles. The sense of humor in this game, it gets me, man. It makes Star Wars references. Witty banter, a fucking biker named Pickles. His name is Pickles. Why? Why is this comedy and why do I love it? Pickles threw up. Pickles is having a bad time. All right, there's, ooh man, there's a lot. Oh my God, there's so many bikers. Uh, okay. I don't really know how to respond to all of this, so I'm just going to talk to people. Want to go for a ride down to Marshtown? Too bad, the road's closed. Okay, can't go that way. If you think you can get past us in our poison Pokemon, think again. Can I? Okay, I guess I will have to think again. You don't look like a member of our gang, what do you want? Man, I don't know which ones I'm supposed to battle and which ones are just hanging out being losers. Biker Harley. Oh my god, is that a Harley Davidson joke? Is that a Harley Davidson joke? Come on, game. Come on. 
I mean, I got the reference, so. <laughs> I'm actually gonna oust myself a little bit here. Um, when I was a kid, I actually liked motorcycles a lot. And, um, not to say that motorcycles aren't cool now, but, you know, I've kind of, like, grown out of that romantic idea. And I actually had a dog that was named Harley Davidson. My last name, blank. <laughs> Harley Davidson. Uh, it was a toy poodle, no less. Not even like a, a Doberman or a, a Dachshund or a Mastiff or a German Shepherd. Just some big dog. Or moderately sized dog, at least. It was a toy poodle. Harley was a toy poodle, and she was the best dog ever. Uh, it was very sad when she died. I, she died when I was 14, and we got her when I was 5. So I had that dog for forever and a day. I was very upset. But, you know, Har Harley's Harley's in a better place now. She's in, uh, she's in old doggy heaven. Along with uh, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I wanted to have a clever joke, right? I wanted that to be a good segue. I was like, I will talk about a famous dog that has died. But then none immediately came to mind, but someone did come to mind, and it was Snoop Dogg. But that's a dumb joke, too, because Snoop Dogg is not dead. What are you doing here, kid? This is our road now. Now, is it? Did you pay the lease on it? Do you pay your taxes to the government for this road? I don't see. Can you show me some paperwork to prove it? I'm not sure I believe you. I... I don't think this is your road after all. See, now... Now, after I've done made a fool of myself with a Snoop Dogg joke, I'm going to try and redeem myself... with a smart people joke. I don't know why I bother. <laughs> I'm just gonna make myself look dumb again anyway. Use your flash cannon, Tesla. I mean, like, come on, Tesla's like a, a cool smart name for a magneton. Because Nikola Tesla, with the electricity and the coil, is magneton's got a screw in some magne- Never mind. Never mind, I've ruined everything. I've ruined the episode, I've ruined the series, I've ruined my YouTube channel. I'm gonna have to delete YouTube- I'm gonna have to delete YouTube the website. And I'm gonna have to delete the internet. Because I made <laughs> bad jokes on my freaking Pokemon. Legends of the Arena Let's Play. Oh, my, I actually can tell I'm getting a bit sick because I'm getting less coherent the more I talk and I think I'm depriving my brain of oxygen. Oh dear. And I laughed. Come on, I lost to a kid. And I laughed way too hard at Biker Pickles. I'm gonna take this item. Oh, it's got Toxic. That's a good one. Alright, what do you say, buddy? So you're the one who's been causing all this trouble. Yeah, sorry about that. So what, are you with the police? No. A rival gang? Uh, uh-uh. We beat up your brother or something? Not as far as I know. Then what do you want? Who are you? The name is Ragter. You might have heard of me. I was on TV, you know. Oh, we don't have a TV. What, you got your own show or something? Uh, no, I was on for this year's tournament. What, you with the competition or something? No, I'm just... I'm... I'm still taking part. HA! Then why would we give a damn about you? Look, can we battle or something? This is getting embarrassing. HA 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 HA! Yeah, sure, whatever, let's go. <laughs> I like these bikers. I like them. They're fun. Gang leader Homer. Don't! Weezing Wee! Weezing! Yo, if I got a Weezing... <laughs> I'm just kidding. We won't change up the team anymore. We won't do it. As much as I would love to use a wheezing, we won't change up the team anymore, I swear. I promise. I'll be I'll be a good little let's player and I'll keep some some modicum of stability. <laughs> but I do love wheezing. It's such a good Pokemon. You could count on it so much. A mighty Anna. This looks like a job for Perseus! I like how I said... Ooh, voice crack. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely getting a cold. I like how I said that I wasn't going to use Tesla all that much this episode, because it was overleveled, and I've ended up using it more than all of the other Pokémon combined this episode. <laughs> and 
Am I a bad Let's Player? I think I might be. Oh? Oh, he's got a Crobat! That was actually a very smart switch. Let's see how much Brick Brick will do. His Crobat's level 50. I don't feel bad about using Tesla anymore. <laughs> In fact, I feel so not bad about using Tesla, I'm gonna do it again. That acrobatics would have wrecked my face, my lord. Take this discharge, Crobat. I love Crobat, though. Yo, if we got a Crobat- No, I'm just kidding! I'm just kidding. No more team changes, I promise. Maybe. But Crobat would be really cool to have. <laughs> Yo, it, it says something about this guy as a trainer, though. Because to have a Crobat, he would have to have maxed out the happiness on his Golbat. So that Crobat must love him very much. It's got to say something about him. He's a good trainer, somewhere deep down inside that rough exterior. Or, you know, maybe he stole it from somebody. Alright, enough of this! Oh, what, you could call it off? Oh, man! Yeah, what's up now, homie, huh? Don't get cocky, kid. I could still beat the crap out of you. Sorry. Stop! In the name of the law! Who said that? Did you say that? No. Oh, oh, oh! It's the police! What? Where the hell did all these cops come from? Homer B. Odor. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Homer Body Odor? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, I hereby placing you under arrest. What? Well, come on! You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you in a court of law. Yeah, yeah, heard it before. Alright then. Cuff em, boys. Yo. Yo! <laughs> hey, thanks for helping us out there. We were waiting for the perfect chance to jump him, and beating Homer helped. Uh, glad I could take justice into my own hands. Swing by the station in Salisbury City. I'm sure our chief will want to talk to you. Stay safe, citizen. Uh, I will make a concerted effort to stay safe. So do these people battle now, or are you all just cool? Just wanna... You know that motorcycles are terrible for the environment? Surprising, I know! Okay, uh, which way is... Salt Spray City? We'll find out before we end the episode. That was a long... This is the way I came from, isn't it? Yes, it is. I went in a comp- Gosh, dingity, dang it. Oh no, oh how I love to ride my bike and sing. Okay, I guess we'll end on this chucklehead. Cyclist Lawrence, who loves to ride his bike and sing. I didn't mean to leave Tesla back in the front. Go into Vesuvius. We have clearly not lava plumed enough things in this episode. So take this! Take this indeed! Do you like my Shinx impression? I thought it was pretty neat. Aluxio, I see what he's doing, and then he's gonna have a Lux Ray. Why are your Shinx and your Luxio such a high level? I'm pretty sure both of these Pokemon are a Lux Ray by now, and you're just a bad trainer. <laughs> it's not a nice thing to say, Garrett. I don't care. I don't really much care. Take my stars. I'm shooting hundreds of tiny star use at you. And Magneton. That's not a Lux Ray, but it is weak to Lava Plume. Whoa, okay, that's a fast Magneton. <laughs> I think I got a Choice Scarf or something? That Electro Ball was killer. It's gonna do it again. It's the fastest Magneton in the West. Get out of here, Magneton. Ack! Did you get bugs in your mouth? Ah, <laughs> I knew it. Okay. Oh, with the... Okay. Cycling Road is now completely full of people to battle. At least this one Tesla can fight. Discharge! I mean, hey, we'll have a super long episode this time. I don't mind. That was a very interesting animation for Signal Beam. I mean, we did a lot. We stopped a biker gang, and now we're battling cyclists for some reason. 
And we're having fun. We're having a good time. You and me together. Okay. Tesla's not having such a good time anymore, though. Poor Tesla. Oh, and I just kicked something under my desk. You probably heard that. It probably didn't sound good. Come on, hit, hit it with your electricity. Smack it with your lightning powers. Stop. I saw the timer just dip over 30 minutes, and now I kind of want to die inside. <laughs> Ugh, come on. I'm going to go into Norton, because Norton's not having any of your crap, Venomoth. Don't get confused, please. Please. Okay. Okay, I was worried there. I was genuinely worried. And I was actually just worried for a second time, because it was like, because I just talked about not being worried, and now he's going to get confused. Oh, she only had one Pokemon. Back to work. <clears throat> well... Okay, before we run into another cyclist, I'm just going to end the episode. We'll look for Salt Spray City next time. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this extra super long episode of Pokemon Legends of the Arena. If you have, please leave a like and a comment telling me how much fun you've had down below, and I will see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching, take care, and have a good one. Bye-bye!